I'm back at my tree. <laughs> back at the wolf cave. Last time I was here, I was thinking, how would I set up a tarp with this uh, stone wall at one side and one tree on the other side? And uh, I had this idea to buy me some uh, climbing equipment. These kind of things you use for secure your uh, climbing rope and you add it in the crack of the stone and it should hold it. So I went ahead and uh, bought me three of these. And to have some other option for those who maybe not can buy this, I wanted to try to use normal bolts in different sizes and uh, the good thing with these are that you can screw it in and screw it back so I wanted to test some of these too and these are good options for other places as well. So, with these kind of equipments and another thing that I found here last time, I also had an idea how to use it and it actually worked fine. So, I have already set up my tarp, so I will give you a view of that and then I go to the uh, details, how I did. And with some uh, equipment and uh, imagination and uh, yeah, luck maybe, but uh, good imagination and a few tools you can actually set up a tarp, even in this place. This one actually are quite loose, but with the if you stretch this upwards, it will actually sit very well there. As long as it's uh, uh, something who pull it up, it will stay there. But as soon as the force is losing, this will fall out as well. But for now, that is quite secure. This is the actual red line which I secure with this climbing equipment. It's called rock. And it's a lot of videos showing how you secure that, but you actually put it in a a crack and make it stay there. I just add to the the little windshed windshield here and I actually <laughs> find a little nail there. I was lucky. And the last one was a little special. Required some imagination. I go under this overhang and I actually found uh, cracks that went parallel with the, the roof and this uh, kind of hook I found here last time I think it's a broken uh, grill uh, barbecue kind of thing 
that I just put in a, a crack there and at my line to actually sit quite safe there. All places is of course different and you need to go very close to the wall to find the cracks and the possibilities and you need to use all your imagination and but it's fun it's a nice challenge And for this challenge today I was using my escapist tarp. I use some uh, eyeballs, another thing, and this was some special that I found. And I use this climbing equipment. It should be the two smallest sizes or three. And some extra cordage. I hope this little video could give you a few ideas on how to uh, set up a tarp again, something like this, if you ever need to. Thank you for watching. Take care out there. Bye bye!